Hey everyone, John here from Four Brewers, and uh, we got a, a package of beer delivered to us uh, from Josh out of Virginia. So uh, we've done some unboxings before, um, like on Instagram, I think I did one, and Snapchat, I've done a couple. Um, but I figured uh, I'd do this one on YouTube because I kind of saw roughly how many beers he was sending and it looked pretty epic. So uh, this is the box right there. It's a big old box of beer. So let's open this big old box of beer, shall we? All right, so here we go. This is nicely taped up as it should be. I'm gonna go over here, cut this side. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have a fancy gaudy unboxing knife. I have a letter opener. <laughs> All right, so we've got a bunch of newspaper. Local newspapers are always fun to read, like flashing yellow aerial traffic signal. What to know? All right, get rid of this stuff. Ooh, look at that. So the first thing we have is this bag. It looks like it has some coasters in it. That's pretty dope. I'm assuming these are coasters from all of the breweries. We've got uh, Hardywood right there, Brew With Purpose. We've got one from, what is that? OBH Brew Co. Hey, my phone's ringing. We've got another sticker from, uh, I'm not sure what that is. It looks kind of cool. Uh, one from Vite Spirits Distillery out of Charlottesville, Virginia. That's cool. Uh, Three Notched Brewing Company. Bald Top Brewing Company. This is awesome. Like we're gonna have so many stickers on the fridge. Like, we already have a lot as it is, but this is even better. Uh, Fairwinds Brewing Company. I've heard of Fairwinds before. I believe I've had their beer. Maybe we've had it here. I'm not sure. Um, this is dope. For lovers only, Imperial Stout from Southern Culture. Or no, who is this from? Uh, PKY? Southern Culture on the Skids. So, yeah. O'Connor. Brewing Company, that one's kind of shiny and reflective. That's dope. Uh, 690, old 690 Brewing Company, established 2013. Virginia Beer Company, that's a dope coaster. Looks like it's used, but obviously that's just distressed. Uh, Red Dragon Brewery out of Fredericksburg, Fredericksburg Virginia. Awesome. Uh, Smart Mouth Brewing Company, I didn't know there was a Smart Mouth Brewing Company. That's awesome. And another from O'Connor. Was this other one from O'Connor? Yeah, this is a sticker. Okay, so we got a sticker from O'Connor and a coaster from O'Connor. So that is awesome. I did not expect that. That's really cool. Let's dive into this. Wow, this is, this is legit. Is there ice packs in here? No, okay. All right, so well done bag and bubble wrapped. So this first beer is Battle Creek. Uh, let's see, is there a name for this beer? Triple Crossing from Battle Creek, a double IPA. Awesome, love that can art, nice and clean and green, that's dope. Another bag. Clever Girl, up oh, Jurassic Park reference, I like that. Another one from Triple Crossing, right? Triple Crossing, that was this other one? Yeah. Triple Crossing, Clever Girl, cool. Like that label a lot. Another one from Triple Crossing. Triple Crossing, this is uh, Galaxy Triangles. Really cool label, that's nice. That's nice and clean, little bit of gray in there with those triangles. That looks really cool. 
So three from Triple Crossing so far. Looks like a fourth from Triple Crossing. Ah, come on. All right, this is Nectar Knife. These labels are awesome. Triple Crossing Nectar Knife. This is a, if my camera will focus here, this is a Nectar Knife, a double IPA. Sweet. That looks really cool. All right, moving to the next layer of beer here. Is there beer in this thing? Wow, look at that. All right, so pull that out, dump that on the ground. This bad boy. I, pr I appreciate the minimal tape on the bubble wrap. Another from Triple Crossing. This is Sightlines, a West Coast IPA. All right. And Triple Crossing, I'm assuming, is out of Virginia. I can only assume they're out of Virginia. There's nothing on the label to indicate otherwise. Ooh, and they have uh, enjoy by dates. This one's Rip Stan Lee. Uh, this is 11, 13, 18, so we're going on about two months old. That's a cool label. I like it. What else we got here? I thought I saw Falconers on there. Is Falconers Flight still a hop? Looks like it might be. Ooh, double dry hop Falcon Smash is what it looks like. That is right up my alley. I was just thinking about Falconers Flight hops today. All right, so we've got double dry hopped Falcon Smash from Triple Crossing again. Uh, focus, focus, baby. Come on. Triple Crossing, uh, double dry hop Falcon Smash, India Pale Ale, so a smash being a single malt and single hop beer. So uh, if this is a Falconer's Flight beer, I will be super stoked about that because that's one of my favorite hops. It's actually a, a mixture of a bunch of different hops. I think it's seven different hops and there's been a couple different iterations of that hop. It's like a proprietary blend kind of thing. I believe this is the last beer. Do, do, do. And we have Space Falcon. I wonder if this is made with Galaxy Hops. This is again from Triple Crossing. This is Space Falcon IPA. Um, no details on it, but I mean, if it says space, it's probably Galaxy Hops. So that's awesome. We got seven beers, it looks like, from, uh, from Josh out of Virginia. That's really cool. So I'm going to pull this off. Recap these once again. We've got Space Falcon, Nectar Knife. Galaxy Triangles, that's a dope label. Double Dry Hopped Falcon Smash. Clever Girl. Sight Lines. Dig that label too. And finally, Battle Creek, all from Triple Cross Brewing. Awesome. So Josh, thanks for the beers. Uh, we'll be drinking them on our upcoming session uh, this Saturday, January 19th at 11 o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time uh, for session 80. We've recorded 80 sessions of three to four shows each. We're up to about 240 episodes at this point. So thanks again, Josh, and uh, we'll see you next time.